calling for just we're just really looking for a couple because we know that most generally yeah. Christians are cowards. We realize that. So we don't we really realize that generally Christians are afraid and cowardly and won't do anything. So we're not we're just looking for one or two who are man enough to stand up. Look at these girls are better are better activists than you. How do you feel about that, sir? The girl is a better activist than you. Huh, that's pretty funny. It's kind of pitiful, isn't it? I couldn't even pass that if I were... Uh, uh, this is this is the state of the church. Is that two little girls are more active than the men, Christian men. How about that? Wear that on. Try it on. It fits. It sure does. In as much as you've done to the least of these, so you've done unto me. Yeah, you. Come on, man. Get out of here. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. How is it that two girls are better activists than you guys? How is that? That can't possibly be. That they're better soldiers than you are. Maybe if we go to war, we could send them and you guys could stay behind. Because that's what's happened. That's what happened. The battle of the day is abortion and we sent little girls to the front line and we're, we want nothing to do with it. How do you like that? That's what I think. Here's what Jesus says. Here's what James says. He warns against partial judgment. What's partial judgment? When you, when you judge according to what somebody can do for you or to you. It's worth saying that little children, unborn children, can't do anything to you and they can't do anything for you. They're not tithers. They can't buy records. They can't come to conferences. They can't, they can't represent the church in that way. They can't build the ministry industrial complex. And so they're cast out. They're viewed as being worthless. And this is the position of the church by default, by passive default. We do nothing. We walk by as though nothing were happening. And just when I've been talking, probably a hundred children have been murdered. Just since I've been talking, so does my, my voice begin to grate on you? Think about how that grates on God. 